but in the is really still the rim. Yeah, so you gotta fit. I did a lot of damage in Beverly Hills, so let's get to the unboxing. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Sydney, and I'm here with a luxury haul, my favorite. So I recently went to LA and I'm gonna leave a vlog up here, but my sister lives in LA and she was pregnant and she gave birth while we were there. So the most beautiful little, most, I'm just obsessed with him precious little baby boy so she became a mother i became an aunt and then of course our mother was there so she became a grandma but her name is mimi so naturally while my mother and i was there we had to go to beverly hills and we needed our own like push gift like i needed an auntie gift she needed a mimi gift and of course we got my sister something can't leave her out but we had a little adventurous day at beverly hills and me and my friends like to say when we spend uncontrollable money that we were balling with our balls out and that is what happened so while in beverly hills we hit up hermes we hit up louis vuitton and we hit up fendi and fendi is they're getting high on my list they are coming out with a lot of cute things like before i was not really checking for fendi i was looking at prada i was looking at louis vuitton i was looking at dior but fendi is they're doing what needs to be done for 2022. I found a lot of cute things in there. I was not expecting to buy anything in Fendi, but I did. So let's get into the haul. The first stop was Hermes. So I have a wish list of getting the um, Hermes orange sandal. So we can go ahead and unbox that first. So we had a really nice self associate. I forgot what his name was, but um, he was really nice. And have, I don't think I've been in that Hermes before at Beverly Hills. So that was my first time going to that specific Hermes location, but they had great customer service. Um, there was a line to get in, but it was only one person ahead of us. He probably waited in that line for literally two minutes. First stop there was going to the shoe department and I wanted a pair of orange sandals. I feel like everybody has these, but they're like a classic stick staple and I wanted a color that a lot of people didn't have since a lot of people do have these so I asked if there was like any um any special colorways that they had or anything that was different from you know like the typical um brown that they do or the typical orange that everybody gets and these are what he found for me so they are a denim and um brown and these are just these are so you I had to pull out my receipt so these are the orange calfskin and denim women's sandal and they are blue brute slash gold so that is what they are called um these are so cute I feel like I have not seen these anywhere and the denim and the um neutral color they're gonna go with anything you can literally slide these on with any outfit you can dress it up or dress it down and I feel like in the summer even in the spring as soon as it breaks 70 these toes are coming out but these are going to be like on my feet every day how cute are these how cute are these? And I feel like these are classic. They're timeless. They're never going to go out of style. And the denim just, you know, it just brings a form of like casualty to any outfit. But you could still have that little dress up factor. But look at these. And then if you have white toes and knee sandals and a nice tan going for you and just like a pop of color in your outfit, you have a little sundress on. You have some cute little jean shorts. You have on a skirt. Yep. I want a tennis skirt, anything. Like these are gonna be so cute. So these are the sandals that I got and then I will be listing prices. So these sandals were $690. Oh, and our sales associate was Daniel at the Beverly Hills Hermes store. Great service. And then of course it came with the two dust bags. Um, perfect for traveling if we're going back to LA and we wanna break out these sandals. Throw them in the little dust bag and keep the pushing in the suitcase. The second stop in Hermes was to take a peek at jewelry. I've had my eye on the uni bangle. Um, it's just so simple and classic. I like more simple um, jewelry, just something you can throw on every day, a little bit more dainty side. So we took a peek downstairs and Daniel was like, what kind of color are you looking for? And I wanted orange. I wanted the Hermes orange. That was the color that I had my eye on. And as we were walking down there, I was kind of thinking like along with those shoes, like those shoes I just show go with everything. But if I have an orange bracelet, is that really going to go with everything? And orange isn't really my color. So I was like, I'm looking at orange, but any other colors you have, go ahead and show me so I can take a look at it. 
and my nails are blue so me my mom my sister we got our nails blue for the baby boy and he was like oh we have a blue color he showed me a blue he didn't have orange he showed me like another brown and then he showed me like a mauve type color and i put the blue on and it literally matches my nails and it comes in this little um case and as you take it out it says hermes paris on it and literally like the blue matches my nails and i just threw it on and it was it was perfect i have blue on today blue is actually my favorite color and it does not hurt that we now have a baby boy in the family so i have every excuse to wear blue now everywhere i go but this is what it looks like on it is so cute i'm obsessed with it and i got it in the silver enamel this is the plain palladium plated enamel this is extra thin bracelet um and this color is blue polar and this is what she looks like i'm obsessed with it i've literally been wearing this every single day it's just so easy to go on and I feel like it goes with anything. I've been wearing it with my Tiffany's bracelet and the Tiffany blue and this blue is not the same blue at all. But at this point, all blues go together. So I have been like at work and like anytime I move my hand or I'm typing on the desk on the keyboard, all you just hear is like click clacking from like me moving all the charms and all like the bangles and stuff. But they know I'm there. And this bracelet was $300. So after we left our mess, um, Louis Vuitton was right there, but there was a wait list to get in. I think it was like a 10 minute wait list or something like that. So you put your name down and then they would send you a text and you have like 15 minutes to get to the store or like you're being, like your thing is canceled. And I didn't want to wait in line and Fendi was right next door. So I put my name down on the list and they're like, we'll give you a text when we're ready to come and help you. And we went to Fendi. Like I said in the beginning of the video, Fendi has been stepping their game up. Um, just recently, I've been eyeing a lot of things that they've been coming out with and everything's just so cute. And I actually um, was looking around. My mom was like looking at all the backs and I was looking around and I FaceTimed my sister and she was like, oh, do they have any hair accessories? And we had the best sales associate. He pulled out all the hair accessories and she decided to get a... Um, ponytail holder so the way their ponytail holders are you get two in a package but you can't mix or match them so she only wanted like the standard Fendi print and but it comes with two so I was like you could take the standard Fendi print and then I'll take another one and we could just split it that way so so I told she was so nice and so kind because he knew I was going to go with my sister so he gave us separate bags and separate boxes so this is the box and I really like their packaging look at love it and the boxes um also collapse so if you're traveling or something and you want to put your um boxes away you can do that as well so i'm going to put up here um what this set looks like together and for myself personally i settled for the fendi baguette um print so it's all in different colors of pink and it has the iconic fendi baguette i feel like it's going to be so pretty in the spring just with all these um all these different colors of pink in it and just in my hair since my hair is basically black now it's really going to stand out just doing like a cute little like top knot or like a low ponytail and just wrapping this around and you can see the bow so it's gonna be cute and then you can also wear it as a bracelet and i have been wearing it with the hermes bangle because i just you know more colors the merrier pulling out my receipt um it is actually the scrunchies it's a regular scrunchie and the price for two scrunchies are $2.70. And while we were in Fendi, my mom kept looking at this bag and I was looking at this bag as well. We're going to get back to the back, but remember the bag. So um, we were like, mm, I don't know, I'm just gonna get the scrunchies and go. And at this time, Louis Vuitton already like sent me my text message that you need to get there in 10 minutes. I did not, they are like, we're canceling your reservation. And as we left Fendi, we went right next door to Louis Vuitton yet again. And um, 
I, t I explained to the woman that like I was um, on the wait list, but we went to another store and was browsing and she just let me right in. So I go in and um, it's really cool. So the reason they let you wait so you can have like a one-on-one -on -one, um, client advisor when you go inside of there. So going into Louis Vuitton, I just went to look at the jewelry again. So I asked her what kind of bracelet she had and she pulls out all these bracelets and one just catches my eye. I've actually not seen this this one anywhere and I don't have any of the Louis Vuitton bracelets but here she is in all of her glory it is the Louis Vuitton um, speedy as a charm on the bracelet I don't own a speedy but it is so cute and you can see like all the details of um, the actual speedy it has a little um, zipper on there has the handles and all of the LVs on there and then it's on this leather bracelet with the traditional monogram on it and I just feel like this is so cute and this is what it looks like on so um the other option like the plain one <laughs> in the cells of Sharon it was Davina she's like no it looks like a, a hair tie do not do not get that so um she showed me the one that has the heart charm on it and then she showed me the speedy one and I just like the speedy the best I don't own a speedy but how cute is this and also while we were in there I was asking her like do you have any bum bags? I want a bum bag so bad that these joints are sold out forever. She's like, no, we do not have any bum bags. I, don't even, I have, it's been a while since I've seen a bum bag. We can't even like pre-order them for a client. And I had on my um, Louis Vuitton um, multi accessories pochette and she was like, we don't even have any of those. And I got that like two years ago and she's like, we don't, we don't see any of those coming in the store. So after we wrapped up the Louis Vuitton, my mom kept thinking about that bag and I was like, that bag is cute. Let's go back and get it, we can share it. The bag in which I am referring to is a Fendi baguette, but it's not just any plain Fendi baguette. There was a illustrator named Antonio Lopez and he had some prints and Fendi actually brought this out of the vault. And the print that we love the most was the Bikini Girls print. And we still have all the wrappings and the paper on it because um, we literally just got back from LA and we needed it to, it to be safe and secure for travel. But look at the print. So obviously what drew us to it is there is a black girl on it. So we always love any type of representation. Um, and she has her beautiful afro, she has her red lips and she is like servant's face. That's just immediately what drew us to the bag. Um, I love anything with anything black on it, so of course. And as you open the bag, there's even more of the print. So it has like, it just like continues on. We have a rainbow here. They have on stockings. Um, and as you open it, you can even see more. It's their faces again. And both girls are stunning. They are both serving face. It's giving America the next top model. We have the dust bag inside. And of course, it's filled with um, stuffing. And inside, um, we just have the deep hole. And there is a zipper inside as well. And you can fit quite a lot in it. And then we have the authenticity card as well. I feel like they gave a lot of attention to detail. Because even when you open the flag, it still has the Fendi um leather continuing on inside so it's like it's really cute when you open the bag you have the two apps here you have the girls here it continues on instead of like just cutting off here and you still have the print going along the back it has gold details um in the buckle and on the handles as well and we were trying to decide between the baguette and the sunshine but the sunshine i just feel like wouldn't have been enough room like it's very structured and it's very small and skinny so you could only fit um, a certain amount of things within that bag and the baguette has of course it has like the mini strap but it has a bigger strap as well so i can wear this crossbody i can wear this across my shoulders you can just change up the look here she goes crossbody really really cute and i just love having anything hands-free especially when i'm out and about and i'm like shopping or like the grocery store or something i just love having my hands free but you can still appreciate the beauty of the bag and then of course just carrying it on your arm in this bag, she was she was a pretty penny. This bag was three thousand two hundred and ninety dollars. 
you don't even want to add the LA sales tax to it because all the extra $300. But here she is with this bag. I feel like you can wear this um, all year long, but I feel like it's going to be really pretty in the summer and in the spring, especially with this um, pastel rainbow in the back. Um, and I feel like you can honestly wear this with anything. It has so many colors in it. It can just go with any outfit. It even goes with what I have on today. So this is definitely going to be a all year bag and I will be reaching for this with me and my mom. are going to be sharing this. So we'll see who get to wear it the most. That is all that I have for this haul, but I do have more um, designer unboxings on my channel. I recently just uploaded one, I believe a month or two ago, and I'll link that up here. And I do have a whole playlist for them as well if you want to check it out. But thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments what your favorite thing was and what you guys have your eye on because I'm always open to adding things to my list. But right now my pockets need to... Um, revive themselves from this little shopping trip that happened but my birthday is coming up in april and i have my eye on a few things and i need to treat myself because that's self-care to me but thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in the next video hope you enjoyed the video bye